I think that's a very important question for everyone today because this last tragic episode of the last, uh, you know, starting October 7th has certainly brought out a, a tremendous sense of the vulnerability, the pain, the dangers in which we live. Um, and it seems to me that uh, the fact that we have um, a history of so much suffering uh, is something that we should really ponder to try to learn lessons from. And one of the lessons that we learn from our history, very, very uh, unique, I think, in all of human history, is that despite the fact that we have been the brunt of every form of opposition, of every form of attack, of every form and attempt to destroy us, we still are alive and well. And all of our enemies throughout history are barely found in the history books or in the museums. And that should be a source of strength to us. Now, it doesn't relieve the immediate pain, but it does give us that sense that we will persevere and we will grow and we maybe sometimes even expand our flourishing from the challenges and the difficulties that we have. That's not to be insensitive to the pain, but it's to recognize that we do, um, we, we, we have endless strength within us. We've shown and proven that strength throughout the generations, and we will continue to do so. We will survive, we will flourish, we will progress, and we will continue this glorious tradition, which is thousands of years old and is probably the oldest of any ongoing, consistent tradition throughout history. And that should ease the pain somewhat. There's another thought that can help us ease the pain, is that when we see the resolution of a problem, and from a religious perspective, we see God's miracles and kindness, in retrospect, it sort of puts the pain in a very smaller format and said, yeah, we had, you know, some pain over there, but it seems much less than it really was because of the good that we see that follows it. That's, I think, something else. Um, other thing is that when we realize that nothing happens by accident, that there's a good reason, a divine directive for everything that takes place, so even though it's painful, and even though it's confusing, and the fact that it's from God is even more confusing to us, but it gives us a certain sense, puts us a certain at ease, because I know it's not Hefker, it's not happenstance, it's not by accident. There's something going on there. And even if the goings on are beyond my comprehension at this point, I do have a certain sense of, um, of coping, knowing that it's not all just one big accident.